even bindings in Angular listen for DOM events such as a click or a key press on standard HTML elements such as a button or an input element. There are a number of DOM events such as the on click, on key up, double click, focus, key down and so on. Let's say you have a button and you want to do something whenever a user clicks on that button. The event binding template syntax in Angular allows you to easily wire up event handlers from within your component templates. You can wire up native DOM events as well as custom events that you might create for your components to emit. Let's take a look at how you wire up to native events. So let's go ahead and create a button and add some functionality to it. Back in Visual Studio Code in our app.component.ts file, under the property template, I'm going to create a button. So that's input type is equal to button. Let's give it some value. So I'm going to say click me and then close the tag. The next thing that we want to do is to wire up a native DOM event. In this case, it's going to be a click event. While property binding makes use of the square brackets, even binding makes use of the parentheses. So on the button input tag element, we can add the even name clicked wrapped in parentheses and set it equal to a statement in quotes that will be evaluated. So let's go ahead and add a click event on this button. So I'm going to do a parenthesis and within which I'm going to add a click event and set it equal to a function named on button clicked. Notice that we use the term click here and not on click. Angular has a pattern for native DOM events wherein it looks for the even name without the on. So for any native DOM events like on click, on blur, on key press and so on, you would bind that event by leaving the on prefix off. So now Angular is expecting the on button click method to be available in the execution context. Remember that we can make a method available by putting it onto the component class. So back in our component class, let's add a method called on button clicked. In here, we can write logic that needs to run whenever the button is clicked. For now, let's console log a message and see it in action. Over in the browser, we can now see the event binding output in the Chrome DevTools console tab. So when we click on, let's keep this console open, and when we click on click me, it's logging button clicked, which is what we wanted the method to do.